Passionate as Pastor Stephen Furtick is about preaching, he is not as passionate about interviews. The last one the leader of Elevation Church granted was in 2008 to the newspaper. Since then, the church Furtick started in the family room of his Shelby home has grown exponentially. Now, Furtick preaches in Charlotte to 20,000 people every week. Do you ever get nervous? Yeah. Talking to you? <laughs> Think about how preposterous it is what I do. I get on the stage and open a book that I believe was inspired by God and speak to people on behalf of God. I hope I'm a little nervous about that. He may feel the nerves, but Furtick says the stage is where he is in position for his assignment. He invited me to attend this service last month, a 90 minute high energy first class experience. Did you ever imagine, I mean 10 years ago, that it would grow to this? I imagine that we would have influence. Um, I, I dream big. I dream big. I, I hoped, I certainly didn't think it would be in 10 years that we would be reaching 20,000 people every week. 35-year-old Furtick has 19 years of experience under his belt. He became a youth pastor at 16 in his hometown of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. And divinity is in his DNA. Furtick's grandfather was a Methodist minister, but Furtick says it wasn't with the word of God that the elder shaped him. And just watching him show up and take my grandmother to Wendy's every day when she didn't know who he was, uh, she didn't know his name. Um, if she did speak to him, usually she was yelling at him. This is toward the end of her bout with Alzheimer's. And to see him still show up and comb her hair and stuff, I learned more by watching him do that than anything that he said. I don't know any of his sermons. I hmm. heard him preach two or three times, that's it. But I watched him do that and uh, I know it marked me. I don't know if anybody's ever asked me that before, but watching him is probably one of the main places I got my picture of marriage, of what, of what marriage commitment and commitment was like. Furtick married his college sweetheart, Holly, at 22. He calls her his chief encouragement officer, his amen corner, and the truest person he knows. How does she handle your fame? We don't think of it as fame. See, I like to say, you know, that if you can go 100 miles to another town and nobody bother you if you put a baseball cap on, that's not famous. That's, that might be church famous or preacher famous or town famous, but that's not real fame. I've met really famous people who can't get on an airplane and fly 19 hours without cameras in their face on the other side of the world. So we don't think of it that way. With Furtick's success has come scrutiny. He's written three books. He tells me his fourth, titled Unqualified, is expected in March 2016. He built a large home in South Charlotte. And over the past couple years, critics and some in the media have called for more details about Elevation's finances and Pastor Furtick's in particular. There is a lot of interest in the church's finances and your finances and your personal lifestyle. Do you ever think I'm just gonna release these records to shut everybody up. Oh no, I, I would never make a decision about how the church's finances were communicated based on the agenda of a reporter. What about your personal or a newspaper. finances? Or your personal lifestyle? Well, in my personal lifestyle, I know that we have to have integrity and I know that we have to be generous. And I know the extent to which that is true of me and Holly. So to go on record and say, here's how much money we've given away, and here's what we do with our finances. To me, that would be the most arrogant thing that I could do, and it would rob me of the blessing of doing what Jesus said, which is when you give, you don't get up and tell everybody how much you've given. So when you share one part of a picture, whether that's how much one of our, our staff members that you met when you came in, what they make, that's between them and God. Mm -hmm. That's not mine to release. And the same with my family. I wouldn't do that to my wife and my kids. I wouldn't do that to any of our staff members. This guy, his NASCAR hat. 
Pastor Furtick's promise is to bring people far from God to be raised to life in Christ. Since he started Elevation, the church has baptized more than 10,000 people. Furtick is succeeding in his promise and showing no signs of slowing. But he says his most important work is off stage. I know a lot of people who use a stage as a substitute for real life, and they're not happy unless they're in front of people. And I never wanted that to be my life. I never wanted to be a better, let me say it this way. I never wanted to be better at preaching than I was at living. And that's a goal of mine, is that I'd like my kids to say one day, and hopefully they can, you know, he was a better dad than he was a preacher. And to me, that would be success. Morgan Fogarty, WCCB News.